Hello viewers, hope you're doing well. Today in this video, I'm going to create a search car API for the admin and the customer in the Spring Boot application. So let's get started. As you can see, the customer service inside this interface, I'm going to create a method with the name search car. In the argument, it will get search car DTO object. So let me create a class inside the DTOs package with the name search car DTO. On the top of this class, let me add here the annotation that is at the rate data to create the getters and the setters for the properties. Brand that is a type of a string. Second, we have type. Third, we have private string color. At the last, we have private string transmission. So let's go to customer service. Let me create an object of the search card DTO. This method will return a list of a car DTO. So let me add here the return type that we have list of a car DTO. Let's go to the customer service impl and I'm going to implement the method with the name search car. Inside this method, I'm going to create an object of the car. So it will be a new car. Let me set here the type. We will get type from the search car DTO dot get type. After this, I'm going to set here the color. We will get color from the search car DTO dot get color. Car dot set type. And we'll get type from the search car DTO dot get type. At the last, I'm going to set here transmission. We will get transmission from the search car DTO dot get transmission. After this, I'm going to create an object of the example matcher. After creating the object, I'm going to call the method from the example matcher that we have matching all. We have to match with the brand, color, type, and the transmission. So it will be a with matcher. Inside this, I'm going to pass an attribute name that we have brand. So it will be an example matcher dot generic property matches dot contains dot ignore case. Let me duplicate this line and I'm going to pass here the type. On this line, I'm going to pass the color. At the last, I'm going to pass here the transmission. So after this, I'm going to create an object of the example car. Inside this, I'm going to pass the car entity and it will be a car example. So we have to get the cars by passing the example matcher object. So it will be a example dot of inside the argument. I'm going to pass the car entity object. And second, I'm going to pass here the example matcher object. After this, I'm going to call the query from the car repository that we have find all. So it will be a car repository dot find all inside the argument of this i'm going to pass an object that we have car example let me get an object of the list of car after this i'm going to return cars dot stream dot map inside the argument of the map i'm going to call the method from the car entity that we have get car dto and it will be a dot collect that we have let us start to list this method is nothing just a conversion of the entity to the DTO. So let's go to the customer controller. Let me duplicate this method. Name of the method we have search car. Let me update the URL that we have slash car slash search mapping. We have post. We have to get the search car DTO object as a request payload. So it will be at the rate request body. Let me create an object of the search car DTO. So we have to call the method from the customer service that we have search car inside the argument. We have to pass in the search car DTO object. Let me update the return type of this method that we have list of a car DTO. Now I'm going to create the same endpoint for the admin. So let me copy this method. Let me paste inside the admin controller. We have to call the method from the admin service that we have search car. So let's go to the customer service. Let me copy this line. Let me paste inside the admin service. After this, let's go to the customer service impl and I'm going to copy this method. Let me paste inside the admin service. 
as you can see. Now let's run the Spring Boot application. As you can see, our Spring Boot application started successfully. Let's navigate to the Postman and let's test the API. As you can see, the URL of the login endpoint. Let's click on the send button. Let me copy the JWT token of the logged in customer. Let's go to the second request and I'm going to add the token inside the authorization tab. And inside the body, I have added the request payload as a type of a JSON. As you can see, where we have a type, brand, transmission, color. So let's navigate to the MySQL workbench. As you can see, the list of the cars that saved in our database. So I'm going to search a car with the color white. So let me add here the color inside the request payload that we have white. Let's click on the send button. As you can see, the status we got 200 OK, and we are getting here the result with the color white. Now I want to add one more filter by the transmission like automatic. Let's click on the send button. As you can see, the status we got 200 OK, and we're getting in the car. Now I'm going to log in the admin. Let's click on the send button. Let me copy the token of the logged in admin. Let me paste inside the authorization tab. And I'm going to update the URL that we have slash API slash admin. Let's click on the send button. As you can see, the status we got 200 OK, and we are getting here the car. So that's all for now from my side. If you have any confusion, you can document. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.